So you want to get Adobe Illustrator for free. Well, unfortunately, you can't do that. In fact, you can only really get like a seven day free trial, maybe a 30 day free trial from Adobe. But there are a ton of free vector program alternatives to Adobe Illustrator. And we'll go over a couple that I would recommend here in this video. First up, Inkscape. I've actually seen Inkscape in use. I've thought about using it. It's the one out there that I have looked at, seen tutorials on, seen videos on, some of the behind the scenes creation of different game projects and graphic design projects. And I thought, boy, I wish Illustrator did that. It's the most complete alternative to Adobe Illustrator. If there's one that you should download and try, and you could probably even follow some Illustrator tutorials by using Inkscape, I would definitely recommend it as the one that you should go to first. And some people even choose to use Inkscape, which is a free program, instead of Adobe Illustrator. It's all about the learning curve and what you're used to and what's available to you. So for some of you that I know maybe can't afford Adobe Illustrator or the Adobe Creative Cloud, Inkscape's here for your vector solutions. Now, another free option is called Gravit Designer. This one's one that I think is looking really professional and has really come up over the years. It's a design app that kind of reminds me of Adobe XD or when I look at the UI, a little bit of like um, a web flow type interface. You can also do image editing here in this program, which something like Illustrator doesn't really support very well. I would never want to edit photos or images inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now, one thing about this is the free version is the online only only version, but that's also kind of a perk in some instances. You can actually use this in your browser. You don't have to download a program. And we'll see that with a couple of these free alternatives. They're actually browser-based or even cloud-based, just cross-platform in general, which is kind of a really cool feature in some of these programs to where you don't have to have that program downloaded specifically to your desktop. Gravit is looking really good and there's a lot of features here and I think it's different, but it also includes a lot of the same powerful capabilities that Adobe Illustrator does. Now, as we step down in, in capabilities a little bit, we have Vectezi Editor. It's an SVG editor. Now, I'm not sure, you may be able to download other file types as well, but it's mainly geared and focused toward SVG graphics. So if you're a web designer or you're designing digital graphics for websites, SVG is your best friend. And these are the type of graphics you're going to be creating in Vectezi. Now they tout it as being super user friendly with a big open interface, you know, big buttons that clearly tell you what you're gonna be doing and how you can edit your files. I believe they start you off with templates if you want to. So there's a lot of pre-made things that you can then go in and adjust. And like I mentioned before, this is also a browser-based program. So you can edit all of your designs, customize them before you download them, and basically create vector designs from scratch within your browser. Now vector with no O in the name really kind of surprised me. The website especially looks really clean and I think they did a great job sort of designing and putting this program out there. They're calling it quick to learn, easy to use. A lot of these programs do say that as opposed to how Illustrator might be a little bit more complicated when you, when you hop into it for the first time. But this is a cross-platform tool. So it's got web and desktop components. It's free, of course, and it's based on vector graphics. I mean, that's in the name, vector. One of the cool things that I thought here was the collaboration aspect. So your design, if you're using like in a browser, since it's cross-platform, includes a URL. So you could send that URL to someone else and collaborate working at the same time on that document. I believe at the exact same time on that document. That's something really cool that back when I worked on a graphic design team or like a creative team, we always wished for that type of collaboration. If we could both be in the same document at the same time, we could get so much more work done. This looks like you can do real time sharing with a URL for every design that you're working on. So for that, I think Vector it sounds really cool. It's free, it's an alternative. This one looks promising. Uh, kind of surprised me, like I said before, I hadn't heard of it before. If any of you have tried it, please let me know what you think about it. Last up on the list is one that's really kind of crossing into Photoshop and Illustrator, Affinity Designer. You've seen the commercials, I'm sure. It's not free. 
They do have a free trial, but they also have just simply a one-time purchase. So if I were to go buy Affinity Designer, it's a one-time forever purchase of $50, depending on what you're on. So if I'm on Mac right now, $50, Windows 50, um, they even have the iPad versions for $20. So one-time fee is a little different than what the Creative Cloud gives you. And the reason I bring this one is this is probably the most powerful alternative to both Illustrator and Photoshop that's out there. Affinity Designer, if you wanna hop in and, and try something that truly is a competitor to Adobe Illustrator and the Adobe Creative Suite. Maybe go check out Affinity Designer. There are so many features, it's very powerful, and this one has a lot backing it and a lot of users and a huge community of people that utilize this program. So if you're interested and you have a little bit to spend, I would check out Affinity Designer and maybe I'll even check it out myself sometime to see what the true differences are and maybe I would enjoy working in it better than the Adobe alternatives. So I know not everyone out there can really afford the Creative Cloud. You probably have maybe even an older version of Adobe Illustrator. At this point, we're 10 plus years past when that last uh, standalone version came out. So I would really look into if you're not gonna be able to update or upgrade to the latest Adobe programs, maybe you should look at some of these alternatives because some of them have popped up and been developed in that time span since uh, you know that old CS6 version is still hanging out there in places. And these guys have a lot of features and they're really powerful and they're totally professional to use. So they may be free alternatives, but these things are what actual designers and creators out there are using in real products. See which ones you like best, see which ones kind of scratch that itch, that vector itch for you. And if you have any feedback on these, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any, if you think some are really great, some are worse. And what's the comparison to Adobe Illustrator? Mainly, I just wanted to show you guys some alternatives so that you could go download them and try them for yourselves. And there's plenty of tutorials out there on all of these programs. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you next time.